When I left for college, I left my faith. I dropped it. I went for years longing for a church community, for that sense of community. And when I met Terry in 1995, Terry was active in his church in Novi, Michigan. And in 2008, when the window of opportunity in California opened, Terry and I traveled over to San Francisco and we were married in St. Mark's Lutheran Church. When we returned to Arizona after our marriage, our marriage wasn't recognized. It was um, as if we were legal strangers to each other. Children born today will grow up in a world without DOMA. After the Windsor decision occurred in June of 2013, Terry and I decided to start looking for someone to help us file a suit against the state of Arizona. Sean Aiken and his wife Lynn walked in and I handed them a, a, a program, a brochure uh, for, for the church service that evening. And I turned to Sean and I said, hey Sean, by any chance do you know anyone that would help us file a lawsuit against the state of Arizona um, regarding the ban on same-sex marriage? And Sean was a little shocked. Another step to legalize same-sex marriage in Arizona today. Four couples are suing, saying our state's ban on gay marriage is unconstitutional. I deal occasionally in my work as a lawyer with people who carry weapons. I'll say very candidly, we were concerned at our house about that. This is not like a garden variety case where you you aren't identified with the issue that you're taking on. I wonder if I could have done this in my place. And so from that respect, there was respect for the willingness to take on the challenge. By the time the case was filed, my partners were completely behind the case. I had two outstanding associates, Heather Macri and Will Knight, helping me inside the firm. I was prepared for some publicity, but I wasn't prepared for the number of programs and just the intense public interest, especially the first 30 days. Arizona is the latest in a string of states throwing out laws that ban same-sex marriage. It was all positive, and perhaps that's even more surprising. It was the right thing to happen. It should have happened a long time ago and finally happened in Arizona last year. This was hard work. You made a, you made a big sacrifice in terms of other work that you were doing. I know you took some grief from your clients. I'm proud of you for taking this on. It means to me that I'm a part, in other words, of an important piece of state and national history, and I treasure that. I treasure it deeply. I'm honored by the award, and I am humbled by the gesture in giving it to both me and my firm. It means very, very much.